Welcome to our exploration of the Sandakan Heritage Trail, a journey through the rich history and diverse culture of Sandakan, Malaysia. Nestled on the island of Borneo, this coastal city has witnessed the ebb and flow of civilizations, each leaving an indelible mark on its landscape and people. Our expedition will take us through the heart of Sandakan, where remnants of its colonial past stand in quiet testament to a bygone era. We will encounter the architectural marvels born from the fusion of cultures, a testament to Sandakan's role as a melting pot of traditions and beliefs. Join me as we uncover the stories etched into the very fabric of Sandakan, delving into the lives of those who shaped its destiny. Our journey begins at the Masjid Jamek, a grand mosque that has graced Sandakan's skyline since the early 20th century. Its towering minarets and elegant dome, crafted in the traditional Islamic style, serve as a beacon of faith for the local Muslim community. Step inside, and you'll be greeted by a serene sanctuary where sunlight filters through intricate geometric patterns, illuminating the prayer hall. Notice the meticulous detail in the mosque's design, from the ornate calligraphy adorning the walls to the delicate floral motifs embellishing the arches. These elements, painstakingly crafted by skilled artisans, speak to the deep reverence held for this sacred space. The Masjid Jamek stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of Islam in Sandakan. Its presence a constant reminder of the faith that has shaped the lives of generations. As you observe the faithful gathering for prayer, take a moment to appreciate the profound sense of community that thrives within these hallowed walls. Let us now venture further along the Sandakan Heritage Trail, where more captivating chapters of history await. Our journey now brings us to the Pryor Memorial, a solemn obelisk that stands as a tribute to William B. Pryor, a pivotal figure in Sandakan's history. Erected in 1908, the memorial overlooks the bustling waterfront, a poignant reminder of Pryor's vision for this once humble trading post. Pryor, a British administrator, recognized Sandakan's strategic location and abundant resources. Under his leadership, the town blossomed into a thriving hub of commerce, attracting merchants and traders from distant shores. The memorial's inscription speaks of Pryor's dedication to Sandakan's development and his enduring impact on the region. It serves as a reminder of the individuals who, through their ambition and determination, shaped the course of history. As you gaze upon the memorial, let your imagination drift back to a time when Sandakan was a burgeoning port its harbour teeming with ships laden with spices, timber and other treasures of the East. Now let us continue our exploration, delving deeper into the heart of Sandakan's heritage. Our journey takes an invigorating turn as we ascend the iconic stairs with a hundred steps, a testament to Sandakan's rugged terrain and the resilience of its people. These steps, hewn from the earth itself, have borne witness to the passage of time and the footsteps of countless souls. Originally built to connect the upper and lower sections of the old town, the stairs served as a vital artery for residents and traders alike. Today, they offer a unique perspective on Sandakan's urban landscape, providing breathtaking panoramic views. As you ascend each step, feel the weight of history beneath your feet, imagining the generations who have traversed this path before you. Pause at the landings to catch your breath and savor the view, to the east, the vast expanse of the Sulu Sea stretches towards the horizon, its waters reflecting the azure sky. Below, the town unfolds like a colorful tapestry, its streets teeming with life. The climb may be challenging, but the reward is well worth the effort. Let's continue our exploration, uncovering more hidden gems along the Sandakan Heritage Trail. Our exploration now leads us to the Agnes Keith House, a poignant reminder of a tumultuous chapter in Sandakan's history. This unassuming bungalow, nestled amidst lush greenery, once served as the home of Agnes Keith, an American author who found herself caught in the throes of World War II. Step inside, and you'll be transported back in time to an era when Sandakan bore the scars of conflict. The house, lovingly restored to its former glory, stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. 
As you wander through the rooms, imagine Agnes Keith at her writing desk, her pen capturing the realities of life under Japanese occupation. Her poignant words, preserved in her acclaimed memoir, Land Below the Wind, offer a glimpse into the hardships and triumphs of this turbulent period. The house serves as a museum, its walls adorned with photographs, letters and artifacts that bring Keith's story to life. Our journey through time continues as we delve further into the rich tapestry of Sandakan's heritage. Our exploration takes us to the weathered remnants of an old staircase, a poignant reminder of Sandakan's pre-war past. These crumbling steps, shrouded in vegetation, offer a glimpse into a bygone era. Believed to have been part of the consulate building, these stairs stand as a testament to the contributions of the Chinese community. The craftsmanship and architectural style hint at the grandeur that once defined this space. Run your hand along the worn edges, imagining the countless footsteps that once traversed this path. Though the consulate building is long gone, these remnants serve as a tangible link to the past. Our journey through Sandakan's past is far from over. Our journey through time now leads us to St. Michael's and All Angels Church, a beacon of faith that has stood watch over Sandakan for over a century. Its graceful spire reaching towards the heavens has been a constant presence in the city's skyline, a symbol of hope and resilience. Step inside and you'll be enveloped in an atmosphere of tranquility and reverence. The air is cool and hushed, sunlight filtering through stained glass windows, casting a kaleidoscope of colors upon the wooden pews. Take a moment to admire the intricate details of the church's architecture, from the vaulted ceilings to the graceful arches. Notice the historical plaques adorning the walls, each one commemorating significant events and individuals who have shaped the church's long and storied past. Imagine the generations who have sought solace and inspiration within these hallowed halls. Picture families gathering for Sunday service, their voices uniting in hymns of praise. St. Michael's and All Angels Church stands as a testament to the enduring power of faith and the important role it has played in the lives of Sandakan's Christian community. Our exploration of Sandakan's heritage continues as we delve deeper into the city's diverse cultural and religious landscape. Our journey now takes us to the vibrant Sam Singkung Temple, a testament to Sandakan's rich cultural diversity and the enduring legacy of its Chinese community. This architectural gem, adorned with intricate carvings and vibrant colors, stands as a beacon of tradition and spirituality. As you approach the temple, listen to the melodic chimes of wind chimes dancing in the breeze, their gentle music welcoming you into a realm of peace and tranquility. Breathe in the aroma of incense, a sweet fragrance that permeates the air, creating an atmosphere of reverence. Step inside, and you'll be greeted by a symphony of colors and textures. Gaze upon the intricate dragon carvings that adorn the roof ridges, their sinuous bodies seeming to come alive before your very eyes. The Sam Sing Kung Temple is dedicated to the three saints of Taoism, embodying the principles of compassion, frugality, and humility. These virtues are reflected in the temple's serene ambience, inviting visitors to find moments of peace and reflection amidst the bustling city. Our exploration of Sandakan's cultural tapestry continues as we delve deeper into the spiritual heart of its Chinese community. Our final destination on this journey through Sandakan's heritage brings us to the Goddess of Mercy Temple, a serene oasis amidst the bustling city. Dedicated to Quan Yin, the embodiment of compassion and mercy, notice the intricate carvings that adorn the entrance gate. Step inside and you'll be greeted by tranquility. Soft light filters through lanterns, illuminating Kuan Yin's serene face. Observe the devotees as they offer prayers and light incense. The Goddess of Mercy Temple reminds us that peace can be found even in a bustling city. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Sandakan Heritage Trail. We hope you enjoyed learning about the rich history and cultural diversity of this fascinating city. From the grandeur of its mosques and churches to the intricate details of its Chinese temples, Sandakan offers a captivating glimpse into the tapestry of cultures that have shaped Southeast Asia. As you reflect on the stories and sights we've encountered, 
Remember that the Sandakan Heritage Trail is just a starting point. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more historical explorations. We look forward to embarking on new adventures with you.